Hi everyone. Um, I went and did my interview with a librarian and it was actually fun. I was able to learn a lot about what librarians did and their job. Um, when I had went to the Central Rappahannock Regional Library Howe Branch in Fredericksburg, uh, I was able to introduce myself to the supervisor and she fortunately had a meeting that day and she took down my information and she asked the people that was going to be in a meeting who felt comfortable doing the interview with me. So uh, she got back to me and mentioned that a gentleman at the research desk wanted to do the interview. So when I met him, he was friendly, he was nice, and answered all my questions. Um, and I had went there with quite a few questions because I really don't have a lot of knowledge of this field. So the more that I got to know, the better I felt about the career that I'm choosing. Um, and he was very helpful. He told me everything that he did in his field, all the researching. Uh, projects that he had to do. He mentioned how other departments helped him out and vice versa. Um, I had asked him how he got his job and he told me that it wasn't the position that he was going for but it was the position that he ended up with and it was the position that he was hired for. So when he had gotten out of college he had a hard time getting jobs because uh, the market was pretty bad. So he ended up doing a lot of volunteering in Fairfax area. And he started doing a lot of research for the libraries. And that gained a lot of experience for his field. So when he applied for the library that he's at now, uh, it was actually pretty helpful that he had some background in researching and writing uh, with all the volunteering that he did with Fairfax and Lorton. I want to say it was Lorton um, libraries. And he also had informed me of the different areas that had offered internships when he was um, gathering experience. And I was actually surprised at how much writing he did. And it was kind of funny because he's not even a writer. He actually went to school to do history. So his bachelor's is in history. And he had a hard time adjusting because he didn't do a lot of writing. So, um, but I asked him some open-ended questions. I had asked him how does the company make use of technology. And he told me that, that he thinks that they're technologically advanced. Uh, they have the catalog, they have iOS Horizon, their website, they have a question point line where you go online and actually ask questions and get a live response. Um, and they were thinking about projects coming up where they want to do 3D printers, tablets, they want to do a recording studio uh, and sound recording and be able to rent out GoPros for people. So I thought that was pretty cool that they actually wanted to upgrade their library a little bit and cater to the young um, culture that's around the school because I believe that there's a middle school around the corner. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they took their community in mind and decided to update it in a way that would help enhance the whole community. Um, another question I had asked him was if he feels like libraries are useful and he has said, yes, definitely. Uh, customers would also agree because uh, he felt like they come there for relaxation and they come to look for books. And most of the time, it's the parents that come to have a little getaway from home or students come there to get away from whatever hectic life they have at home. So I thought that was kind of entertaining as well. And uh, people actually come in there and ask him to help research. And he said he has a lot of medical students that come in and ask for medical research. So they look up stuff for whatever major they're doing. Um, they do a lot of test proctoring. So anytime, like for example, with this class, I probably have to go and get a library to do a proctor test. 
Uh, so they do a lot of that. And they have a lot of programs that involves the community. And they have different setups and they actually go and travel around and they go to different fairs and they mod, mod, they uh, advertise their library and the activities that are going on. Um, they offer job help. So if anybody's struggling to find a job or need help with exams and stuff like that, they have uh, exam and job help. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting because that list was going on all with him. Um, with the interview, I feel as though I would want to work in this field. Um, I personally enjoy reading and writing and researching a lot. So I found that very interesting and kind of motivating for me to, to have an idea of what I want when I get out. And I actually learned about librarians as a whole because he had touched a little bit on the different um, sections of the library, like the young adults and adults and the children. And I thought that was kind of cool because growing up, I never thought that librarians had like things to do. Uh, when you go in there, you don't you normally assume that they're just sitting there doing nothing all day, but actually they're actually working on projects. They're setting up conferences. They're doing all this stuff and helping out people and catering to whatever needs that a patron wants or whatever but um that actually changed my mind about librarians a lot and open up me open up open up my mind to wanting to explore and learn more about what librarians do um and hopefully when i get my masters i'll be able to use them as a network or a connection and go back and ask them hey you know what areas are doing internships or if there's a position open over there because he, he said that there was a lot of turnover because a lot of people do retire so um i think this will be a good route for further on down the road but yeah bye